Okay, in a previous video I talked about backing up your config file and your iOS, your operating system, your router's operating system and your router's config file to a TFTP server. And so in this packet tracer scenario, I've got a router here. I've got some small configurations on it, some interfaces are configured and some things like that. And I backed up the configuration file and the iOS to this server over here at 1.254. And if I click on the server and I click on TFTP to look at the TFTP server, you can see that if I scroll down, there's Dan's config right here and Dan's iOS. So I successfully backed up my config file and my iOS to the TFTP server. I'll show you the command for that again when we get into the router. Also, I've got a PC here that has a console connection to the router. So now I'm going to show you how to restore a configuration file to your router, and I'll show you a couple ways to do that. All right, um, so first thing, we're going to console into the router from our PC, let's say. And so we'll console in. I'll go to Desktop, Terminal, the default settings. This is uh, emulating a terminal connection like from PuTTY or HyperTerminal. And I'll click OK. And I'm in the router. Let's, let's exit the router so we start with a fresh. OK, so there we go. I met with a... Uh, presentation screen here and I'll hit enter. Um, I've got a banner message of the day here, warning no unauthorized access. I gotta put in my password, Cisco. I'll type enable. Now I'm in privileged user mode and I can look at the running configuration, do a show run. And you can see here I've got host name is router. I've just got my Ethernet interface configured with a description on it. I've got my Serial 2 interface configured with a description on it. Um, I've also got um, the banner message of the day. And I have Line Console 0 configured with a password and login. And I've got Line VTY virtual terminal for Telnet configured with a um, password and a login, right? So, um, so now if. Um, if I wanted to, let's say, back up my configuration file or my iOS to the TFTP server, it would be a command like this. Copy, let's say, start tab, startup config to TFTP, right? And I would hit enter, and I'd put in the IP address of the remote host. All right, and the destination file name, I'd say dans-config, and it's done, right? And if I want to do the same thing for my iOS, I would say copy flash memory to the TFTP server. Now with this one, I have to have the name, the file name of my iOS to do this. So that's the trick with that one. So before I would do that, I would do a show version. I've got the the bin file right here for my iOS. If After I do a show version command in the output you'll see the name of your iOS right there. So I could I could copy this file right here over. So I'll just do that really quickly just to show you. Copy flash memory to TFTP and then it asks you for the file name. So that's where you'd put that in, pt1000-i-mz.122-20. bin, And then the destination host IP address. And destination file name, I could say it. Dan's once again iOS and and there we go and it's successfully so what if you wanted to restore though that's the other question so if you wanted to restore I'll show you a couple of methods um, for restoring your configuration file and it's pretty easy basically what you would do is instead of saying copy from the startup config to the TFTP server you'd say copy TFTP to 
running config, right, like that. Or you could say copy TFTP to startup dash config, right? So um, let's do that. Okay, so we'll do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my startup configuration file and reload my router so that there's no configuration. So I'll say erase tab startup config, right? It gives me a warning. Do you sure you want to do that? Yes. All right. I just erased my startup config. I'll reload the router. Press reload. Hit enter. And now it's going to reload the router or restart the router. And you'll see that there'll be no configuration file now. Okay. Um, configure with configuration dialog. I'll say no. All right, and now I have a brand new router. As you can see, I did not have a, um, a login password. If I type enable and do a show run, I don't have, um, my interfaces are not configured, and um, my, I lost my banner message of the day, and my line console zero and my line VTY, um, are, my telnet line is uh, not configured either. So I've lost my configuration. So um, so how would we do that? How would we get our um, configuration back? Well, we would just say copy TFTP, right, to, let's do running configuration, address of remote host, source file name, dans-config, destination file running config and it's probably not going to work and the reason it's not going to work is we don't have any interfaces configured and so it's trying to grab the TFTP um, it's trying to grab the file from the TFTP server at 1.254 but we have down interfaces here so that's not going to work so for this configuration to work I'm going to do a control shift 6 to get out I'm going to have to first configure my interface on fast ethernet. So configure terminal. I'm going to say INT short for interface, FA short for fast ethernet, 0/0, zero slash zero. goes into interface configuration mode. IP address and put in the IP address and the subnet mask. Okay, and then a no shut, which is short for no shutdown, and now it's up. So now I can do a control C, and now I can do copy TFTP to, from the TFTP server to the running configuration file, and the address of the remote host, and the file name. and I'll hit enter the destination and it should work now. Okay, it looks like it was copied. So now I can do a show run and you can see now there's my configuration. It's all nice, brand new. There's my banner message of the day that came back. And there's my passwords for my line console zero, my line VTY zero through four. And so last thing I need to do is save this, because if I reload the router, it'll be gone. So I'll say copy run, which is short for running dash config, to start, which is short for startup dash config, and save the file, hit enter, take the default, and I've just restored my configuration file.